Hi. Now, in this part of the question, we're now told that at 10 a.m., a passenger on the ship observes that a lighthouse cell is due west of the ship. And at 10.30 a.m., the passenger observes that L is now southwest of the ship. And we've got to find the position vector of the lighthouse L. Now, in the previous part of the question, we established the general position vector of the ship as it went along this line here. After t hours, it was given by r equals 4 minus 6ti plus 8t minus 8j. Now, what I want to do for this part is we'll just put down a general position for the lighthouse. Let's just say the lighthouse is out here somewhere, okay? Let's just say there. We'll call it L, and we've got the position vector of L. Just put it out there. The general position vector of L we'll call RL, okay? Now, that means that as the ship goes along this path here, if we look at this vector from where the ship is to the lighthouse, that's going to keep changing. So if I want to go from here to here, what it generally is is minus R plus RL. In other words, RL minus R. So it's that vector here. Let's just write that in as RL minus r. It's this vector that we need to consider. And if I let the vector for the position vector for the lighthouse be, say, x in the i direction plus, say, y in the j direction, then I need to work out what x and y are. Well, first of all, what I want to do, we we'll just say it follows that. If we were to work out, let's say, rl minus r, okay, this vector here, then it's going to be x, y, if I write it as a column vector, x, y, minus the position vector r, which is up here, I'll write that as a column vector as well. It's going to be 4 minus 6t, and then 8t minus 8. Now, we know that at 10 a.m., that's one hour after it left P, at 10 a.m., the passenger ship observes that a lighthouse L is due west of the ship. Well, let's just find out what this vector is when T equals 1. That would be when the ship has traveled one hour along this line here. So if we just say when T equals 1, what do we have for r l minus r well we've got x and then this is going to be 4 minus 6 which is minus 2 then you've got minus minus 2 which is plus 2 and for the bottom here when t equals 1 you've got 8 minus 8 so that's 0 and then you're just left with the y so you've got x plus 2 over y x plus 2 in the i direction y units in the j direction. But we're told that the lighthouse is due west of the ship at this time. So if you're due west of the ship, this line here would be horizontal. Okay, It should be just straight out horizontal. So there should be no j component. Okay, So we know now that y must be 0. I'll just write that in, that since okay, L is due west, okay, west, then Y must equal 0. Okay, so we've got Y. So all we need to do now is just work out what X is. And we're told that at 10.30 a.m., the passenger observes that L is now southwest of the ship. Well, 10.30 a.m. is one and a half hours after it left the port P. So if we just say when T equals 1.5 into here, what we get is that, therefore, RL minus R equals... 
x, okay, and then 6 times 1 half is 9, 4 minus 9 is minus 5, and so you've got x minus minus 5, so x plus 5. And then for the bottom here, we know that y is 0 now, so you've just got for 1 and a half, 8 times 1 and a half is 12, 12 minus 8 is 4, and you've got minus 4, okay, so that's just going to be minus 4. Now, what we know is that at 10.30 a.m., L is now southwest of the ship. So in other words, if I was to look at this vector here, the blue vector, if it's southwest, I would expect to see it looking something like this, inclined down here at 45 degrees to the horizontal. So if I just mark in some dotted lines like so, okay, something like that, then I would expect, I mean, this is the uh, vector that we've got, RL minus R, but being southwest, this is inclined at 45 degrees here. This means that we've got an isosceles triangle. This length should equal this length here. So what are those lengths? Well, we know that this is four units downwards, okay, minus four. So this is effectively minus four units in that direction. But it says x plus 5. So that must mean that x plus 5 must equal minus 4. So therefore, x plus 5 equals minus 4. And if we solve this, subtract 5 from both sides, we therefore have x equals minus 9. So we've now got our value for x and y. y, remember, is 0. x is now minus 9. So we were asked to find the position vector of L, so therefore the position vector of L, let's just put it in, vector of L, is just going to simply be minus 9i. Okay?